Booktopia for six and a half years now. I started as the senior UX designer and I ended up setting up my own team. I'm the marketing and fundraising manager. I do want to understand all the principles behind UX. We've got three massive projects on at my workplace. You don't have to be a great designer or have a whole bunch of technical skills to be a great UX person. Anything from print, digital, animation, but the one thing that I don't have is UX. UX has always been that one thing that everyone's always said, you know, you should probably think about upskilling. I've had a bit of exposure to UX, but I've always been assisting. And I guess the opportunity here for me is to really find my confidence and be able to lead a project. And having the marketing research side, you will find that quite a lot overlaps with the UX research. I'm a freelance marketer for a few different smaller companies with um, web design. It's like starting to become a bit more of a demand. The very last presentation that we're going to do is going to be a great chance for you and Liz to practice that whole presentation side of things. In my previous role, I headed up um, in financial services in a project space. And for me, coming and doing this um, gives me the ability to understand a little bit more some of the challenges. I'm a dancer, uh, a commercial dancer and a choreographer. I kind of think design is everywhere. And so I, I you know, re did a little bit of my own research with UX design and, and found that UX design is all about like trying to find um, solutions in all facets, not just in, in an app. I promise I'll try to make it as fun as I can. Um, it's not difficult.